And this is Alex Bennett. And tonight, Midnight Blue visits a cat house where all the females are real bitches. No, um, no. You hear me? These are okay, customers who have responded to various ads and various publications who have agreed to come here with their dogs for the purpose of getting their dogs laid. This is Sarah Brown and Ruby. Look at that room. Ruby is a beautiful Saluki bitch. Sarah will introduce her to you. In, she's a reincarnation of Cleopatra. And now she is a, a street developer. Betty Drake and Blackberry. And see beautiful? You run a brothel for dogs. A brothel for dogs. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, you have advertised it in the um, village voice. In the village voice, the ad reads, and Cat I house quote: "For dogs, featuring a savory selection of hot bitches, from pedigree (parenthesis Fifi the French Poodle) and parenthesis to mutts, Lady the Tramp, handler and vet on duty, stud and photo service available. No weirdos, please. Dogs only." By appointment. And with that ad, you have officially opened your cat house for dogs, and that is precisely where we are this evening. Right. Dog's first time. He's never been out here before. This is. Uh, I brought him here because um, I, I felt this is a, a safer place to bring him than this, trusting to the to the common, the common street dogs and dogs that you know that tend to be illness ridden and have syphilis and gonorrhea. I wanted to... Yeah. <laughs> well, he's, a, uh, he's a country dog, and he's used to having ladies around, you know, and when he doesn't have them around, he's in the city, you know, he, he gets... Uh, he gets like this, he gets really mean, and he's hard to take care of, and... Well, I don't know if, uh, if it ever happened to you. <laughs> See what I mean? He really needs a woman now, right now. And if he doesn't get one, you know, we're all in trouble. I mean, did you ever, uh, did you ever think what a hickey from an 80-pound German Shepherd would be like? <laughs> How do you feel about her doing what she does? Well, she doesn't have to do anything. Well, she has to put out. Well, yeah, but she doesn't know that it's, that it's called putting out. Hmm, she enjoy it. Uh, she actually likes politicians better. <laughs> There is a bone inside the, uh, the penis of a dog, and it grows a, the erected penis of a dog is about a foot long, up to a foot. One of the problems we've had, Alex, is to prevent uh, dogs from literally knocking their joint out of joint, and we have a handler here who assists in the act to, well, the way a dog makes love is to grab a hold of the female, to mount, to insert, and then to turn himself around so they're facing ass to ass. And we've had problems with virgin male dogs who have not been able to swing their hind legs over and face back to back and actually have been pulled apart by the female trying to get away. And uh, that's why we have handlers here. Come on. Gully must be a... Gully may be a fag, I don't know. <laughs> the purpose of this meeting is to introduce the customers and their dogs to the brothel, to the bitches. And after they've chosen which bitch they wish their dog to mate with, we then inject the dogs with the drug which induces heat. And we have a second meeting. And uh, it's then when they copulate. This is primarily, the first meeting is a social meeting. And uh, the dogs are chosen. And then they're mated. <laughs> Hello. Did anyone ever tell you what beautiful brown eyes you have? Oh. What beautiful white hair you have? Oh. What's that? We also are planning on franchising this and coming out with bumper stickers pretty soon, which will say, get your dog a little tail. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's our evening at a cat house for dogs, and it is for real, and it is run by Mr. Joseph Skaggs. Thank you, Alex. I hope you had a good time. Who uh, means business. I mean business. No kidding around. This is it, right? Satisfaction guaranteed, Alex. Satisfaction guaranteed. Are they going to try and clean up businesses like this for the Democratic Convention, do you think? Oh, I see. Not only in this city, but in other cities.
Absolutely. I think we'll get a lot of customers. Have you received any kind of calls from the police or the police wondering what this no, is all about? No, not at all. Not at all. No, I'm not expecting any. Uh, what can I say about dogs making it? Right. All right. Well, uh, from a, a cat house for uh, dogs, uh, this is uh, a, a Alex, Alex Bennett, and uh, we uh, bid you... Uh, <laughs> Hi. You're kind of cute, you know that? Uh, well, I hate dogs. Thank <laughs> you.